Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, counsellor and creator. This video is all about my top non-financial investments. Sounds really odd, but these are things that have cost me money, but have actually given me an infinite return on my investment. And I know this doesn't make sense, but it will do in a second once you start hearing my top five investments. Now, um, I absolutely love my job. I'm a financial advisor. I help everyday people um, build and um, manage their financial wealth and independence. And it's something I'm incredibly passionate about. And you know, I really see the benefit in my clients because I take that financial stress and concern off their shoulders and, and basically manage it for them. And um, I really enjoy um, that I get to free up their time and energy so that they can focus on the things that are important to them. And that whether that be, you know, traveling or spending more time with family or, um, or friends or focusing on their health, that's, you know, I help free up that stress um, and energy for them. So for myself, um, I was thinking the other day about things that cost me money that have just been, for me, money well spent. And I wanted to share them with you um, because, you know, not everything is about money and about materialistic things and, and paying for things and looking at the values. Some things, you know, just give you so much, um, such a great return on your investment. And I wanted to share mine with you. So my number one is my gym membership. And this is not number one as it means number one, it's just one of them, um, is my gym membership. Um, I, um, you know, I have s such a busy day and um, it's really important for me to like, to stay fit and healthy and um, have the optimal level of energy, you know, to get through, you know, each day and night and, and all the weeks. So I love going to the gym um, and I love leaving the gym and I love leaving the gym when I've had a really good workout and, you know, I've sweated it out on a treadmill and, um, um, you know, some of my best ideas come to me when I'm exercising and, you know, I go to the gym three to four times a week and I always, I try and go my lunch break and for the people who asked, I do have a shower after my workout and um, it's, I just, you know, I see the direct debit come out of my bank account and I just think it's such good value. I get so much, I feel, you know, I feel so good leaving the gym and I feel like it really benefits me um, in so many other areas in my life, you know, I a lot more calmer, um, you know, I have I'm more creative, I have better ideas, I tend to eat a lot healthier after I've had a good workout, um, I've got more energy, I, I sleep better, it just serves me in so many, on so many different levels and it's just, a, for me, it's a really great, um, a great way to spend money, it's definitely been a worthwhile investment. The second one um, was actually IVF. For some unknown reason, I wasn't able to conceive the traditional fun type of way and after trying lots of different things, I eventually had to go down the IVF path, um, which was definitely an expensive and evasive um, uh, treatment. Um, but at the end of the process, I got um, Rocco, who I, my little monkey, who I absolutely adore and love. And um, yes, it, it, you know, it, fortunately, I was in a position where I could, I could afford to do the IVF, but um, it was something I ha obviously I had to pay for, and, and it was an investment. And I am so grateful for the the result that I got, and um, I feel so blessed and lucky. Three, personal development. My life is so busy with Rocco, my two-year-old, and two dogs, and two businesses, and um, I, you know, my days are full on. I start really early in the morning, and sometimes I'm up until very late working on my laptop. So for me to stay, I guess, conscious, um, grounded, and aware of what's going on, I spend money on personal um, and spiritual development. And in particular, I see an amazing kinesiologist who helps give me the strength and um, I guess the clarity and the vision to keep going with what I'm passionate about. And I also see, um, it's sort of hard to explain, but like a spiritual advisor who I go and ch you know touch base with every now and again, talk about what's going on and um, helps me sort of understand the messages that I'm, I'm supposed to be learning from certain life events. And it definitely um, has had a profound impact on my life and and um, made me you know value and appreciate the things that are that money can't buy. So for me, they're important investments and um, yeah, definitely help keep me strong and sane and um, and uh, I guess help me grow spiritually and um, intellectually and emotionally as well. Four, traveling. I absolutely adore traveling. I love seeing how other people live, how different cultures work. Um, it's just so inspiring. And recently I took Rocco to Paris. I'd never been before. and. I was just blown away by, you know, the people watching, um, 
the the architecture, um, the way of life. It was so um, inspiring and invigorating. You know, traveling I think is an investment in one's mind and spirit. And I, for me personally, when things have gone wrong, um, you know, that it's been a real test of character. And I've actually learned more about myself while traveling and getting lost and like vomiting everywhere and and trying to like deal with the situation. And you realize this inner strength within within you to like pull yourself together and keep moving. And it's it's been such a, a, a I'm, I'm so grateful to be able to travel when I have been and um, it's yeah definitely something that has been a worthwhile investment for me um, and hopefully will be for Rocco as he grows up as well. Five, food. Obviously we all need food um, but when I can I try and buy really good quality fruit and vegetables um, and my body really appreciates it. I find that I sleep better, I have a better sense of clarity and vision um, I've got more energy and, um, you know, it is a great return on, on its investment for me. And whether that means buying organic food or just eating clean, um, I, I feel better about myself after eating healthily. And um, my body always sort of like, thanks me. I, get, I don't get as sick as often. So, yeah, definitely um, a, a worthwhile investment for me. So that's it for my non top five non-financial investments. Um, I might do some more of these videos, so let me know if you like them. And if you have any questions, and I'll see you in my next video soon. Ciao for now. Bye.